Hi everyone, I'm Sheila Boynton, CEO and co-founder of Learning Blade. We wanted to take a little time to give you some videos that can help you activate and utilize Learning Blade a little bit better in your classroom. Thank you so much for being on the front line of the critical work to get our future workforce prepared. Learning Blade aims to help you by providing you with resources that can encourage kids to consider these high demand STEM and computer science careers. We've prepared some short videos in this series that will allow you to utilize some of the excellent resources that we have created to assist you in this challenge. So let me take a few minutes to tell you a little bit about Learning Blade and why it is important. The STEM workers and the need for STEM workers is growing. The demand for these jobs is at a critical high in our country and you have an important role in helping to fill that pipeline for students and making sure that they are prepared for the workforce. STEM jobs pay more and we're not just talking about four-year careers, we're also talking about certificate and two-year programs. So remember that as we're going through some of this. Additionally, what was surprising was the fact that when students are graduating from high school and they are taking, uh, for example, the ACT test, we find that students that are interested and prepared for STEM number in the 21% range. That's great, off they go. They're interested and they're prepared. What was alarming was the fact that 23% of students actually have some great math skills and probably STEM skills, but they weren't interested in STEM. So how could we actually impact that particular bucket of students? Not to forget the other buckets because they're equally important, but in this, in this world, that's sort of low hanging fruit. Looking at women and girls and minorities in STEM, they are grossly underrepresented in the STEM workforce. I happen to be an engineer as well and recognize the value of that. Women, we are 50% of the workforce, yet we're only 24 to 26% of the STEM workforce. Similar numbers exist for minorities. This is a great pool of potential candidates for our STEM workforce. So in trying to find out what were some of the issues of not getting students into the STEM workforce, what bubbled to the top as the number one reason through many research uh, papers and other resources was that the main reason kids did not major in STEM or computer science, pretty simple. They didn't know about the careers. You know, you can't be what you can't see. And what was important to note is that this was additionally validated more recently in a survey by Emerson that showed that 42% of Americans said that they would have majored in STEM if they better understood what the career path was. So also besides finding out that the number one reason kids didn't major in STEM is they didn't know about the careers, we also wanted to understand where were these critical decisions being made and additional research showed that it was the middle grades. Um, that is where kids are really making their career decisions. Now not that they're picking their exact career, but the classes that they take, the things they do after school, the friends they hang around, all of that was baking in to helping them understand what their career path might be. And so that is that critical time, middle school. So let me tell you a little bit about the Learning Blade STEM Toolbox. What we have tried to do with Learning Blade is create resources that make it very easy for any teacher to be able to utilize these tools and deliver a STEM great experience in their classroom. You know, we can work with teachers in rural communities and urban, suburban, all, all across the country to really increase the interest of STEM careers in their students. Now, our several components do include, of course, our interactive online lessons, which you'll certainly hear a lot about, and that is sort of our shining star within our STEM toolbox. But we have added a lot of other resources since we began this platform several years ago. That does include some simple hands-on projects that allow you to use things that you already have in your classroom to uh, deliver students a problem and project-based learning experience. 
We have also added um, design thinking lessons using the five-step process, again, to make this very simple for any teacher to allow their students to collaborate together, work in teams, to learn the design thinking process as that is a critical component no matter what career a student chooses. Additionally, we have 3D printing lessons. Many of you are getting 3D printers in your classroom. You don't know what to do with them a lot of times. So giving you some simple ways to integrate 3D printing into your classroom, as well as some other resources, including career videos and some little paper craft exercises. And then of course, we do have some newer coding activities that allow you to utilize some of code.org's fabulous materials, but making it simple for you to actually utilize these in your classroom. So let me just say thank you. Thank you for what you are doing in the classroom, what you do every single day, but thank you for utilizing Learning Blade to help you to give your students a STEM career awareness experience that will help move them closer to being able to have a great career and a great future. We hope you enjoy these Learning Blade series of videos and we are here to support you in any way we can.